Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to use the crock pot and we're going to cook a, a corned beef brisket and cabbage, carrots, and then we're going to put a lovely mustard sauce on the meat when it's finished. So let's get started. So I've got my crock pot ready to go and I have my brisket. We're going to set it in the crock pot. Lots of nice spices on, on the, um, the brisket itself. And we're going to add water. Three quarters to the top. And we're going to put the lid on it. I have it on high for now. And then I'm going to turn it down once I start seeing it boiled. My brisket has been in the crock pot for an hour and a half. I'm just going to turn it over. It's bubbling away. Now what I've done is I've cut up a uh, cabbage and I just kind of cut them into quarters. So I'm going to stuff it in there. And I've got two carrots because it's just the two of us eating. So I'm throwing my carrots in here. And I'm going to take a little bit of herbamere. This is one of my favorite spices. This one isn't the zesty, this is the original. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on top. Of the cabbage and the carrots and a little bit on the meat. So I'm going to put the lid back on. And I'm just going to let it continue cooking. So now we're going to make our mustard sauce that we're going to put on our corned beef. So I have one egg that's been beaten. Just use my spatula and clean off the dish. And I have two tablespoons of xylitol. And I have half a teaspoon of mustard powder. It's a dry mustard. And then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of Thick It Up, which is a thickener. Now, I bought this online from Dixie Carb uh, counters online. And there is no carbs, zero net carbs in this. And you don't need very much for thickening. So I found it really worthwhile buying it. I thought it was expensive at first, but for the amount I use, it's, I've had it forever. And it works really, really well. So this is what I use. Now if you don't have any of that, then um, you could use coconut flour and probably about a teaspoon of that. You might have to use a little bit more. You'll have to experiment with it and see how that turns out. So I've just mixed everything together here. I'm going to turn my burner on. Now I'm going to add um, two tablespoons of white vinegar. And with the corned beef, I took out a half a cup of the broth, the stock from the corned beef. So I'm just going to heat this up and get it so that it thickens up. So now we have it thickened and we will continue to put our meal together. So here's my finished product. It's a meal. Everything is just in the pot and it's just so much easier if you're a working person or if you're, you know, don't want to have to do a lot of preparing in advance and there's the mustard sauce that goes on the um, corned beef. So I hope that you give this a try. This is a great recipe to um, put everything in a pot and then all you have to do is serve it and you're ready to go. So go to my lowcarbrecipeideas.com for other recipes. You take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.